praise y'all. I'm glad that you decided to tune back in with me. And uh, we just was covering uh, Luke 21, 24. And these were uh, started off as conditions and problems that's in the black neighborhoods today. And I'm only just doing this for clarification that you know for beyond a shadow of a doubt that what I'm presenting to you is absolute truth. You ain't going to hear this in, 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 uh, uh, in no mosque. You ain't going to hear this in, uh, uh, in no Christian church because they don't preach this. This is not for them. This is not of them. Salvation is of the Hebrews. So we preach this unto other Hebrews. And I hope that you are one of those ones and that chosen number that God will redeem. And he's only coming for his people. If you don't know that you are his people, I'm sorry. There's no that there, there's you you're out of time now. We have been around for over 120 years preaching this book and saying that we don't have no business in the New Testament because that is not scripture. It is history and some good writings, eh, some good, some bad, that, 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 that other uh, uh, Hebrews have wrote. That was it. That was it. it it's not scripture. Understand that the New Testament is not scripture. It is history. It's historical writings. It's all it is. You can find some things in there that's clear in history, but that is not scripture. Scripture is thus saith the Lord. You only find you, there is not one verse in the whole New Testament that even starts with thus saith the Lord. I, I will give anybody $500 right now if you can come up with one scripture in the King James Version that says, thus saith the Lord in the New Testament. It's, it, it, that means it's not of God. They, they just wrote. And many times Paul wrote, and I'm not necessarily against him. I'm only doing this for edification and clarification. He says simply that this is not of God. This is mine. This, this is how he wrote. But I don't come that way. I only come speaking to you what was already written so that you will be able to see out of obscurity. That you will, when I speak, that you will hear. And as I speak, you speak. As I walk, you walk. And together we can come up out of this thing together as one nation. We can't do this separate anymore, separate communities and separate. We have to stop that. Now is the time. It's high time for us to get ourselves together. But let's talk a little bit more about some of these conditions that is in the black community. Now, turn with me to Deuteronomy 66. See. Who going to? Turn to each scripture with you and deal with you like, uh, like this. And, 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 and point out the clear way to you. Now, this is part of the curses in Deuteronomy uh, 28 verses uh, 66. And it says, what does this sound like? What does it, you tell me, what does this sound like if you are a black person in, in America listening to this? Verse 66, pick it up there. And nah, let's even go to 65. You, we, we, you know what? We're going to do 65 to 67. I see, so I see some, also some good things in there. But sorry, it's 65. And it says, among these nations shall you find no ease. Neither shall the sole of thy foot have rest. Is that clear? Uh, if it's not, let me keep reading. But the Lord shall give you there a trembling of heart and failing of eyes and sorrow of mind. So what's failing of eyes? Promises that you was to receive that people didn't give you. They promised you 40 acres and a mule and you didn't get that. They promised you 
true integration in today's society where you would have equal housing, equal employment, and equal education, and you still didn't receive that yet. You made that agreement with them. You made that agreement. That, that wasn't what God had had for you. He wanted you to be free. And I'm, I'm going to point that out to you in just a second. He wanted you to be free. He never wanted you to integrate. You don't integrate and, and, and consolidate into someone's society and they didn't even want you to drink out of the same water fountain that they drink out of. They didn't want you to eat in the same restaurant that they, uh, uh, that they um, ate in. They didn't want you to sit in the same seats on the bus that they, uh, that they had. They want you to sit in the back. Why? Because you are the last. You are the least. And they represented the most. But what did God say? God says in the scripture, he said that I would take the foolish things of the world and confound the wise. I would take the least and make it the most. I would take the bottom and bring it to the top. This is what he said he would do so that he would declare his name among the heathen and that we may know that besides him there is no savior so there ain't no jesus coming out the sky there ain't nobody coming for you you're going to have to get this and then god will redeem you out of the lands of your captivity but you have to follow the prescription my brothers and sisters if you don't follow the prescriptions there is nothing for you your 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 prayers will be like Will be like will be like speaking into a cup. They bouncing back to you. Your 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 heaven will be like iron. It says. Mm hmm. Yes. Yes. Meaning there ain't nothing coming for you. Your prayers go right back down to yourself. But you have sorrow of mind, you know, it says. And you just be sorrowful about, about the things that, that 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 has happened to you and they're they're there, there, nothing you could do, and you'd be trembling of heart. You don't know what's happening next, whether if it's the government is doing things to you, or whether your people is doing things in your community. Trembling of heart, you'd be scared. Mm -hmm. And your life shall hang in doubt before thee, and you shall fear day and night, and shall have none assurance. Of your life. Is that black on black crime or what? What is that? You will have none assurance of your life. Is that happening with the Israelis? Well, yeah. If, if they want to throw rocks at the. If the, they want to shoot the, uh, the the Palestinians. And Palestinians are strapping bombs to themselves. And going and blowing up different buildings and stuff. But yeah, sure. But that's that's relatively new. But this is what we have experienced ever since we've been in America. That's a fact. That's a fact. But let me continue. It says, uh, uh, In the morning thou shalt say, Would God it were even. And at evening thou shalt say, Would God it were morning. Meaning, <laughs> meaning, you're going to wish in the morning it was night. And in the night, you're going to wish that it was morning. You just be of confused mind. How many people that works at night wish that it was morning so they can go home and get something to sleep uh, and, 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 and get some sleep? And those that is working um, uh, in the evening wish that it was morning so their shift could be all over. Mm -hmm. And uh, it says... For the fear of thy heart, where, thou, where, uh, where you are, shall fear, and for the sight of thy eyes, which thou shall see. So you, will see, you can see your brother being killed. You don't know that you're going to be next. How many of us that have experienced black on black crimes uh, and in witness loved ones being killed don't know if we're going to be next we have no assurance of our lives this is what's happening in the black community this is the prevailing thing that's happening in the black community